I would like to welcome everyone to our first My Adjustimate mini webinar. Today I would like to present my system of creating an estimate from scratch and working with site photos in Xactimate in conjunction with the My Adjustimate app. I will not cover any estimating techniques or macros. This webinar is all about this one part that everybody hates, labeling photos. Even though I am not touching on other aspects of estimating, my startup file may be utilized as a basic foundation for line items later on as well. This is just my way of doing it. If you enjoy it, use it. If you don't like it, don't be a hater. Among our family of products, we have a separate tool for property, auto, and content claims. However, today I would like to explore just one module, which is the My Adjustimate Property Tool. I developed this system over years because I am always looking to optimize my workflow and decrease the time spent on each assignment. I am constantly looking for getting things done the easiest way possible. Efficiency or convenience, however you call it, if it helps you in the long run, why not take advantage from it? An estimate in Xactimate may be done in one of two ways. The right way? Everything is organized in a logical workflow. Roof, exterior, interior, then ceiling, wall, floor. Chronologically numbered line items. F9 comments. Photos. Or the sloppy way. Line items placed in no particular order. Site photos not properly named with typing errors or not labeled at all. Even if the scope is correct, the overall impression makes you look like a lousy adjuster. When turning an estimate in, think of it as a dish that you are about to serve to your guests. Your dish may look either like a gas station sushi or a more appealing looking sushi. Now, which one would you rather eat? Sushi, that is. You must realize one thing. You are not the only person working on a particular assignment. You are the DA's eyes on the field. What makes perfect sense to you when you have created an estimate may not be that obvious for the guy down the road. After you are done, someone needs to make some sense out of your findings by just looking at your site photos and line items and hopefully some F9 comments. Properly labeled photos make all the difference, especially when arranged in a logical order with detailed descriptions. Again, I did not invent the wheel here. I came up with this template when we created our app in order to optimize workflow and efficiency and ease the process of working with inspection site photos. I will create a one-time startup file and label it underscore template. I put underscore before the word template as a prefix because if you sort a project column by name, it will pop up as the first result. From the sketch view, I rename the main level tab to Dwelling Roof. Create another tab labeled Interior and another tab labeled Garage Roof. For each respective tab, I create a default area, roof for garage roof, room for interior, and roof for dwelling roof. While I am doing it here in the sketch view, these folders are being automatically created in the estimating items view folder structure. Then I switch to the estimate items view where my folder tree structure takes its initial shape. What I want to accomplish eventually is a structure where the main folders, the root, 
are dwelling and other structures, followed by respective subcategories, roof, exterior, nesting further down to front, right, rear, left, and interior, with corresponding room names. In addition, I will add a debris removal item as a separate category. As you customize between projects, you may add categories such as content, bid items, etc., or remove irrelevant folders that do not apply to other cases. Also, I change the default Roof 1 label to House Roof in the Dwelling section and Garage Roof in the Other Structures section. Our basic template is ready. If your project is lacking certain categories, you can just delete them. Remember, always save your template under a different project name before you start to modify the folder structure so that you don't overwrite the master template. Our freshly made template has been saved as Project 1. Because there is no other structures damage in this project, I will remove the other structures entirely in the end. Also, I will modify it further for the interior folder to have five rooms. I will do this in the Sketch View tab and later from the Estimate Item tab. The same end result may be accomplished by using different tools or views. It may seem like a lot of work, but these are crucial steps in order to work smoothly and in sync with the My Adjustimate app later. When you upload or drag and drop images to Xactimate, what happens is, whatever the file name is, it is transferred into the image name box by default. If you change the file name and then upload it, it automatically takes this new label by default. The beauty of the My Adjustimate app is the fact that these labels are created automatically during the site inspection and the file names are already properly labeled. If a particular photo needs more clarification, you can type in additional details in the description box below. I will just briefly show you how the My Adjustimate app archives site photos automatically in the designated folders after the site inspection. Please note that I have not manually labeled a single photo. For more details about this, please check our video tutorials at myadjustimate.com videos. Basically, folders are arranged in the same manner as the folder in Xactimate's Line Items section, dwelling with subcategory for Roof, Exterior, Interior, and Risk Overview. Each folder has already labeled site photos separately by category. From this point, if you upload your photos to Xactimate, you don't have to label them again, as Xactimate already by default takes the file name. Roof photos are uploaded to the Roof folder, exterior photos to the Elevation folder, and room photos to the Interior folder. And now, here is my favorite part of the whole process. I split the screen between the Xactimate window and my uploaded photos folder window and simply drag and drop each batch of photos from my PC to the designated categories in the Xactimate images section. For ease of use, I also switch from thumbnails to the detail list view. 
Not a single photo needs to be renamed. In all, it took me less than a minute to sort, put in place, and label all 100 plus photos. Actually, I can do this at a quicker pace than my online Xactimate is able to process these photos. Think how much time and money you would save by eliminating this part of your annoying daily routine. I hope that you benefit from this mini webinar and find it useful in your everyday adjuster life. Competition out there is tough and trust me, you will never get punished for doing your job neatly. This will give you an edge or at least make you look more professional. Thank you very much for your attention. Please visit our website at myadjustamate.com and follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn.